Well, come as no surprise to you, I'd like to talk about what we need today to, to, uh, to raise the debt limit. And while the Republicans in Congress, are, what they're doing today is so reckless and dangerous, in my view. The reason we have to raise the debt limit is in part because of the reckless tax and spending policies under the previous Trump administration. In four years, they incurred, they'd incurred nearly $8 trillion. In four years, $8 trillion in additional debt. In bills, we have to now pay off. That's more than a quarter of the entire debt incurred now outstanding after more than 200 years. And Republicans in Congress raised the debt three times when Donald Trump was president, and each time with Democrat support. But now they won't raise it, even though they're responsible for more than $8 trillion in bills incurred in four years under the previous administration. Folks watching at home, you should know this is the Republican position. They won't vote to raise the debt limit to cover their own spending. Democrats voted with them to cover that spending the last four years, the previous four years. They say Democrats should do it alone. But then they're threatening to use a procedural power called the filibuster, meaning that we'd have to get 60 votes, not 50 votes, to increase the debt limit. Not only are Republicans refusing to do their job, they're threatening to use the power, their power, to prevent us from doing our job saving the economy from a catastrophic event. Republicans say they will not do their part to avoid this needless calamity. So be it. But they need to stop playing Russian roulette with the U.S. economy. It's one thing to pay our debts already acquired. It's another to require a supermajority to pay the debts already acquired. It's not right. Let the Democrats vote to raise the debt ceiling this week without obstruction or further delays. Democrats in the House have already passed a bill that would do that. It's sitting in the United States Senate where Democrats have the votes ready to pass it. That's the only way to eliminate the uncertainty and risk that's going to harm American families and our economy. Let us vote and end the mess. You know, we've got to get this done. We must get this done. 